just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. It's my early day. It's 621. I get up so early on my early days, but I have to be to work at 7. I don't leave until 630. So I decided to pull out the camera and say hi because I don't know, you guys, on my early days, even though I get off early, I can vlog at night when I get home, but I just don't because I'm exhausted. My body still has not adapted to this time change at this job now and I've been there almost three months. I am going to just finish getting ready and head on out to work. Look how bright the moon is. So home from work, on my way to Bible study. About to go get Evie, even though she has a car, I still pick her up sometimes for these things. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to Bible study and then that's it. I have not vlogged at all yet today, you guys, other than this morning. So it's after Bible study, <laughs> and we are leaving Windco. And look at these kids. This is an exercise. Run, Cheyenne. I'm the queen of the world. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, everyone. It is Friday morning. It's 8.30. I'm leaving Kaiser right now. It's freezing. I'll try to explain to you guys what happened in a second. I'll try to back out. I'm so cold. I'm trying to back out at this awkward angle. So you guys, I was here for Tyreek. He's okay now. Um, so I thought I was dreaming and he came to me and said, mom, I can't stop throwing up. I'm throwing up yellow and my stomach is hurting. I'm gonna go to the hospital or can you take me or something like that. I was asleep. It was like four in the morning and I honestly thought I was dreaming and I said, okay, let's go to the hospital. And because I didn't get up or whatever, he drove himself. I feel so bad. I sleep like the dead, you guys. When my kids were younger, any little sigh, whimper, whatever, I would wake up. But now that they're older, I've gone back to like I used to be when I was younger and I sleep like the dead. It's hard to wake me up, honestly. Cheyenne knows how to wake me up. She like shakes my bed like crazy or whatever, but I don't know. So anyway, I thought I was dreaming. And so I don't even know how long after he told me that, I'm like, what happened? Was that a dream? So I went in his room and he wasn't in there. And I'm like, oh my goodness, he really came in here and told me this. So I got dressed and they brought me back to where he was. And I felt so bad because he was just like laying down. And you know, when your kid is looking like they're in pain or whatever, and the fact that I didn't drive him there, I just felt horrible. They had already started the IV by the time I got there and they had medicine going in his IV for pain for his stomach. Then they took him in for a chest x-ray and like his stomach and they wanted to look at everything to make sure everything was okay. And fast forward like three, four hours later, all of his tests came back good. And they said he just probably had a violent case of food poisoning. He's okay. They gave him two rounds of that pain meds. And when we left, he still had to drive himself home, which I feel, you guys, I feel horrible. I feel so bad. He should have, I don't know. I don't know. I feel so bad. So anyway, he's on his way home. And I am on my way to Winco to pick him up some like Gatorade and crackers and stuff like that just to have him on a soft diet, something to ease back into. And also I'm going to pick up his medication 
for nausea. I guess it's just a little pill, and I've had this before a long time ago. It's a pill that you put underneath your tongue and it dissolves and it helps with the nausea. It's really good stuff. So, yeah, y'all, crazy, crazy morning. Diane, she got one side, her right side, wisdom teeth taken out, number was one and 32, if you guys wanted to know. She got those taken out on Tuesday, so she was home on Wednesday, and so I was kind of like taking care of her. I still went to work. She didn't have to get put out or anything. The doctor that she works with, he actually took it out for her for free, which, you know, is a good thing because usually when they refer you for your wisdom teeth, they refer you to the specialist, and specialists, that's why they get paid the big bucks. They are more expensive. So Cheyenne's dentist, because she works at a dental office also, you guys, she was able to get it done there for free, which I'm so thankful. I'm so sleepy. I'm so tired. I feel stressed. I feel like a bad mom. I just, I don't know what happened. I don't, my kids know when they tell me something when I'm asleep, you got to make sure I am comprehending what you're saying because I'm not going to react or I'm just going to, like I said, I thought it was a dream. All right, you guys. So I am at home now. I bought him his, it's not Gatorade. He said to get body armor because it, it does the same thing, but it tastes better. So I got him that and also some saltine crackers. And he's laying down in his bed and he has been sipping the drink that I got him, but I, I'm pretty sure he's asleep right now. So, so far so good. No more vomiting episodes. I thought I heard him. All right, y'all. So yes, it's freezing cold in here and I don't have my heater on right now because I just don't. It's not really all that cold, but a little bit I don't know anyway so just wanted to give you guys an update on Tyreek he's feeling better no throwing up thank God and I went in there to check on him a little while ago and he said he is really just exhausted and that's to be expected so yeah he's doing better I'm just sitting here catching up on this is us I've missed a lot um, I just haven't been feeling like watching it because I've been watching Grey's Anatomy, which you guys, okay, there are 14 seasons on Grey's Anatomy. It's funny because when I watched it before, because I binge watched it, right? And when it got to the end of the season, I didn't know that it was the end of the season. It just, you know, I just went on to the next one. So this time I knew I was in the last season that was on Netflix. And I thought I actually had maybe one or two episodes left. It was the last one. And I was like, no, don't do this to me. But yeah, I'm finally caught up. And they are filming season 15 right now on TV. So I will wait for that to come out hopefully in the summer um, when it does that. So yeah, you guys, I'm really tired. So I think I'm going to go rest. <laughs> All right, you guys, so you know how I have these color palettes <laughs> all over the dining room and in the hallway. I'm about to paint over it the primer so that way it'll all be ready to paint. So I'm sure I showed you guys this, all of my junk that I took off the walls and then the painting stuff, it's been here since I started and everything. So I primed the walls so they are completely primed and now that i did that y'all i am in the mood to paint i'm going to start back here but these need to dry first but i want to do it now so i don't know should i do it okay and you guys i realize i did not show you savannah's room yet after it was painted um don't judge us. Don't judge her. We don't make our beds <laughs> unless someone is coming over. Actually, I take that back. Savannah usually makes her bed every single day. But when she came home from school today, she laid in her bed and her and Cheyenne are actually out and about right now. So I am going to get her new dressers. But yeah, see, we got these from, where do we get them? Ikea. She likes the sheer look right there. And then she just put those little plants right there. They're fake plants, of course. And yeah, um, like I said, she's gonna get two brand new dressers. 
I don't know if she wants brown, if she wants to stick with white, because she was a little, little girl when she had these white ones. And so now she's like, Mom, I need ones that at least are the same, you know, height and just something that's better. So, yeah, ignore the paint over there. She was painting over it when she was testing the wall colors in here. And she also got the sheer for her closet. We have not cut it yet because she isn't sure she wants to keep it. And I don't know if you guys know, but with Ikea, you have one year to return items with the receipt. So these ones, she loves. She loves how it looks, but she's not so sure about here. So she may actually take it back. Because I told her, I said, if we get these, I could cut it and have it even. But she is not sure. That's the reason why it's still long. So yeah so this is her room for now and she says she is loving it and then at night she has these fairy lights that come on the feel the look of the room is really really nice when those lights turn on so yeah you guys this is her almost completed room looks pretty good i like it okay you guys so i'm waiting for the paint to dry the area to dry where i primed the walls and i put this on because I'm going to start painting I'm just I, I can't do one thing without trying to like I'm not gonna do it all I actually think between my, my hallway and the dining room I may need three to maybe four gallons of paint I only bought one because um, I don't know why I just bought one yeah I think I'm gonna start and Tariq is feeling better he actually got up and had some water um, his head is hurting, his stomach still feels a little store, sore, of course, but um, he took some headache medicine, so yeah, he's doing better. What? All right, y'all, I am done painting for now. Look at my hands. I got down from the ladder, and for some reason, I leaned against the wall to brace myself, and I got paint all over my hands. I'm gonna go take a shower, actually. It's midnight. Let me show you guys what I've done so far. All right, you guys. So the hallway is completely done and looking at it on camera, for some reason to me, it looks like it's yellow. Well, maybe not. It's not yellow, definitely not yellow. It's called cream in my coffee. I think I told you guys that before and it's a, like a cream color and I am really loving it, you guys. It has a, it makes my hallway feel bigger. So yeah, all of this is done up until um i didn't do that part up there because tyreek is going to do that for me and i got as far as i could up there but i did up this wall right here and then i ran out of paint so apparently i am only going to need probably just two more gallons so yeah you guys um yeah i'm gonna go over this wall again when i get some more paint but yeah Wow, looking at it in the camera, it doesn't even look like it's painted at all. It looks white, but it's definitely not white. It's the same color as this down here. We're at Oak Grove Country Club going to a wedding. I didn't record a lot or whatever but yeah we're going home now hello everyone a good Sunday morning and I am ready for church almost I don't think I told you guys much about the wedding so the reason why I got invited is Cheyenne's office manager is the bride 
So I think I told you guys this story before. I'm not sure. I don't remember if I have. Sorry for repeating it. But I went for an interview there. The office manager, she was really nice. Everyone there was really nice. When I walked in, she hugged me and I'm like, wow, that's just so odd. So she's bubbly and she's really nice and friendly. So we were talking and we're talking about you know how much I was asking for they didn't want to pay that much because I've been in the field a long time so I won't lowball myself and sometimes doctors don't want to pay as much as what we're worth couldn't come to agreement on that and I knew Cheyenne was finishing up school and I'm like would you be willing to accept someone that doesn't have their license yet but is working on getting their license and they were all yeah and I said well my daughter so anyway I gave him Cheyenne's number she called her that same night and Cheyenne had an interview there the next day Cheyenne ended up getting hired so that's Cheyenne's office so I was Cheyenne's plus one Cheyenne found out she was getting married and I mean Cheyenne could have invited anyone that she wanted to but office manager said invite your mom you know it'd be good to see her so I'm glad Cheyenne is in the wonderful office her doctor is so hilarious he's so funny came up to me he was like so good to see you again thank you for giving me your wonderful daughter she's wonderful to work with and I'm like yes I know that's my child so anyway it was the office manager at Cheyenne's job it was her wedding and I know I didn't vlog a lot because I felt kind of weird I didn't work there and they're like who's this lady I don't know so I just did bits and pieces from little bit and we left when they really started dancing and partying because you guys know we we don't um, participate in stuff like that it was fun to see though because they had like an open bar and of course we didn't drink but they had an open bar and seeing everyone how they went from mellow to loose to wild and out and so when they got wild and out that's when we left so yeah that was that wedding there even though i didn't get to show you guys much i wish i could have it was such a beautiful wedding and is that a golf course that i always pass by but of course never been in and so i'm actually glad i got to go and see how that place looked yeah that was that and today is sunday and almost ready for church and gotta finish getting ready yeah i got my ponytail on today y'all and yeah that's about it for now y'all so we are at bradshaw animal shelter savannah is getting things for her project oh look at it it's so cute i'll explain to you guys a little bit later but we're looking at animals right now not to keep at home but we'll tell you guys later mm -mm, look at that little one <laughs> hey look at that one there Ooh, that's a big one these dogs have been confiscated the police the police brought these women and you can't get them yet yeah Looks so sad. Savannah's about to cry. Look how skinny this dog is, you guys. Look how he's been abused. These are some big ones. Why is that cage open? <laughs> They're all looking at Savannah. Mika. Yeah, I remember yeah. the name. We did come in here. Hey guys, me. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, you guys, so we are at home now, and the reason why we were at an animal shelter, we are not getting another animal right now, maybe in the future, but not right now, because I think our family is just like done with animals for now, but I will talk about that in a minute. Anyway, Savannah has to do a senior project, and her project is on giving back, and so because she loves animals, she's doing her senior project on animal donations and just things that the animal shelter needs for the animals. So we went there to pick up information, brochures. She needed to take pictures. She presents part one of her project on Tuesday this week. So that's the reason why we went there. It's a big part of her grade and they all have to do that to graduate. Otherwise they can't walk the stage and my baby's walking the stage. She worked too hard and so yes. So that's what she's doing. Um, Tariq and Cheyenne had to do it also. Yeah, that's it for that. Oh, but also the dog thing. So I know a lot of people, when we gave Cody back to my aunt because they were upset, said, how dare you give up the dog? It's supposed to be his forever home. I never really touched on this or said anything about it on my video here, but 
First of all, we did not harm him. We didn't throw him in a field somewhere. We didn't abuse him. We did not mistreat him. We did what we felt was best for him. Isn't it better that if we feel that we can't keep him or whatever, and I didn't go into detail and tell you all the reasons why, Just I told you guys just a little bit, and I'm still not going to because it's not even important anymore. I did what I felt was best. I don't feel that I have to share with the people who were mad at us why we did that. Isn't it best that we did something that's good for him? Like I said, we didn't just abandon him. We gave him back to his canine parents and my aunt. I don't see the harm in that. And people were saying, oh, you know, you should have paid for, what's that, obedience classes and this and this and that. You don't know the whole situation. So all the people and we're saying stuff, whatever, that didn't even affect us or phase us. And one lady even said, you know, you're supposed to be a Christian and what, what is me giving up a dog and telling you pretty much to mind your business because the way she came at me have to do with me being a Christian. Anyway, I'm not even going to get started on that. So yes, that's the reason why we were at the shelter today because she is working on her project and putting everything together and she presents it on Tuesday like I said and yeah and we are home now and I am just sitting here I'm gonna find something to watch on Netflix um I can continue watching the office because I'm not even done with that um I'm just waiting on a lot of my shows to come back on I need a new show to watch I know you guys made some suggestions that I should watch and I actually think I'm going to start watching, I think it's Good Girls, um, about the three mothers who robbed the bank or something like that. I don't know. I may start watching that. So we'll see. Okay, let me find something to watch. So I just wanted to show you guys, Savannah's in a shower right now, how her room looks with the lights on, her fairy lights. It, I just like the, what do you call it, the feel of her room. I like it and like i said it's not finished yet but it's coming along very nicely you guys all right you guys so i am actually going to go to bed it's not that late but i am tired so yeah tomorrow's my late day i get to sleep in a little bit longer but usually on my late day the night before i will stay up a little bit longer but i'm not going to do that tonight i'm just going to go to bed so yeah i don't know what's all in this video random series of random stuff i don't know so anyway you guys i'm going to end the vlog here thank you guys so so much for watching do me a favor before you leave please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video bye